afternoon all mid winter and the batteries are doing very badly oh that's come on and that's powered by these batteries oh look at that green gunge it's just so horrible and damp out here the voltage on these batteries is low you can tell that from the charge controllers check out the led that one's failed actually but uh one flash that's 11 volts about 11.8 it's bad this solar light's working but the leds seem a bit dim so i think the battery is probably in a bit of a bad way uh, this one's just come on so that one seems to be surviving this uh, that hasn't come on yet that might be because it's not quite dark enough yet i think that one yeah triggers at a bit of a lower light level my 30 watt garden light um comes on i think i saw it the other day it only stays on for about 20 minutes Let's see if i can trigger it by sort of covering it no there was a red light there on the charge controller but uh yeah that one's struggling doesn't really do anything and uh, despite the fact that these solar panels are high up, tilted right over to catch the low sun, well, there isn't any sun, so uh, there isn't any power. It's very warm outside, 13 degrees. Ridiculous for December, really. But there's the voltage currently, 11.8. And uh, all the stuff I run off this, well, there isn't much at the moment. This desk lamp and uh, battery charger, which is down there, just can't do anything because there's no power. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to uh, put this mains transformer in the mains. Uh, this is nominally 12 volts, but it actually puts out about 18, I think, offload. 500 milliamps. And I'm going to take the power cable that is plugged into my desk lamp. Uh, use one of these barrel adapters. Plug in this uh, mains transformer. Plug that into the wall and see if I can get the uh, voltage on the battery system to go up. Well, that seems to have helped. That's already gone up to uh, 12 volts. So I'm just going to leave that on there for, uh, well, the rest of the day till I go to bed, I think, and uh, just see if I can pep those batteries up a bit. This uh, mains power brick, power supply, is actually from this work lamp, uh, this 60 LED rechargeable work light. Uh, Kotec this is, so that's Class Olsen, um, I think it's nickel metal hydride, you can just see the battery pack down in there, I think it's charged, yeah, so that's uh, pretty good. I found another one of these at Class Olsen the other day, bargain price. Uh, this updated model, which has one of these Cobb LED strips uh, and a switching power supply, I don't know whether you can see the batteries in this one, no, I can't see anything down there they seem to be covered up so I'm not sure whether this one is lithium it's probably not it's probably still uh, nickel metal hydride but anyway I'm going to review that on my reviews channel uh, pretty soon uh, also I was in Lidl the other day and I saw these uh, eight AA rechargeables nickel metal hydride uh, Tronic brand they are um, German well they would be I suppose in Lidl Euras uh, GmbH so yeah, they might be pretty good. Of course, I love my Eneloop glitters. But how do they compare? These have actually got a larger stated capacity, 2300. It'd be interesting to put these to the test. Uh, yeah, 499 at Lidl. Right, I've been rabbiting for a little bit, and that does seem to have come out. We're getting 12.2, 12.3. So I'm just going to leave it. It's that warm. Oh, yeah, that is getting a little bit warm. So it's putting out some power. That's good. But uh, yeah, this is one of the disadvantages of living at um, 51 degrees north. The days are just really short, really gloomy, and solar power just doesn't work. Cheerio.